Hey there, this is Social Studies Workbook 109 through 111, How Business Works. This uh, paper is going to get us to think about what kind of items you would need in order to start your own business. Matt and Carmen decide to start a pet washing business. What will they need in order to begin? Help them out by filling out their lists below. They're trying to get organized. So pet washing. So we have raw material, which would be something that comes from Earth. Capital resources, something I need to go to the store for. Capital means money. I have to spend money. And then human resources. So the boy and the girl are our first human resources. Matt and Carmen. And I know it's not a human, but it also says they need pets or customers, right? So Matt, Carmen, and pets. What kind of things would they have to go to the store to buy in order to wash pets? They probably already have a hose, but they might need a better one or one with a uh, attachment, maybe a sprinkler. You get to decide here. They're definitely going to need soap. And how do we dry off towels? I mean, you could get really creative here depending on what kind of business you're thinking about. You could get ribbons and bows to put in the puppy dog's hair. Whatever makes you happy um, for this type of business. I'll let you be creative here. But the basic things they're going to need are a hose, soap, and towels. Oh, and maybe a tub. Or a bucket to put the dog or cat. Oh my gosh, can you imagine washing a cat to put the dog in? Now, raw material. These come from Earth. What are they going to need that comes from Earth? To wash pets. What? Oh, water. Okay. We definitely need water. So they're even going to have to pay for the water that comes out of the house and into the hose. All right. So for Matt and Carmen to have their business, they need lots of things. After reading over the list of capital resources needed for their dog washing business, Matt and Karma decided it's just going to cost too much money. What kind of pet business could they start that would require fewer capital resources? So I'll leave this out. Maybe even possibly leave this out. What could they do with just the, this list? Matt, Carmen, and pets. They could walk the dogs. They could play with the dogs. Um, what happens if somebody was going out of vacation? Babysit the dogs. I think some people call that pet sitting. I don't know, Daisy Dog just goes with us wherever we go. So if they don't have a lot of money to spare, they could do several other types of businesses that could end up making money for them. Like dog walking, simply playing with people's dogs, or babysitting their dogs for them. So with dog walking, they don't have to buy anything. Just with playing with dogs, I mean... If they have a ball or a frisbee already, they could bring it with them, but dogs just like to be petted. So that could be playing or just running around doesn't require any capital resources. And babysitting the dogs is a lot like playing and dog walking. It's kind of what they would do with both of these still. I mean, the owner is going to probably provide them with food. So there are three more options for them. All right, we have got a map of Kentucky here. Kentucky is a, it's not really a southern state, it's not really a northern state, somewhere in the middle. Um, it's famous for horse racing, and you'll see on the map here, um, horses. So horses, horses. 
They're almost they're also famous for coal mining. So coal, 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 more coal, coal and coal. And it looks like they have corn industry, some fruit industry, tobacco, which they used to put in cigarettes or cigars. Looks like there's some milk, so they have to have cattle. So milk and cows, notice that they're somewhat close to each other there. And here's another milk and a cow. So somebody comes and picks up the milk and then takes it to a factory. And they use it to either put in dairy products like cheese and yogurt, or they just put it in the milk cartons. If you wanted to start a road construction business that used lots of gravel, what city might attract you? So I'm looking for gravel. Back to the map, Jack. Let's see, gravel. I'm going to look at the key. Gravel looks like a cart. Oh, there I see it. It's all the way up here. I'm going to circle it. And what city is it closest to? Looks like the capital, Frankfurt. Give you a second if you need to spell that correctly. Name three animal groups that are raised on Kentucky's farms. So again, we're gonna look at the key. We don't have to look at the map this time. Animals, beef cattle, hogs, and the one we talked about at the beginning, horses. Okay, so. Beef, cattle, hogs, and horses. Are horses raised near Louisville or Lexington? We talked about this at the beginning of the video, or beginning of this assignment, but let's look back anyway. Here's a horse, and it is almost at Lexington. And then just to compare, Louisville's all the way over here. So the horse is by Lexington. They have the Kentucky Derby there most every year. Maybe not this year because lots of people go to it. What are two food crops grown in Kentucky? All right, we're flipping back to the key. Food crops. Um, it just says fruit and corn. Now, I'm not going to put milk because milk is not a crop. A crop is something that is grown in the dirt, and we don't grow milk in the dirt. What natural resources found in Kentucky are used to make fuel? This should be in your noggin, and we talked about Kentucky. They're famous for coal and oil or natural gas. That's all we can make fuel out of at this point in large quantities at least. Some people are trying to make gas out of corn oil and other food products, but it's just not as widely used. Okay, this is your social studies page. If you have any questions, let me know.